Well, it's critically important, and that's one of the big messages I try to get out to people. Arts is not an add-on. It's not something that's a nice thing to have, where when the budget gets cut, it's the first thing to get cut. When you come back, it's something you say, after I've done everything else, you're gonna add that in. That's not my philosophy. It's part of the fundamental environment of success for our citizens. And art is critically important. And it's interrelated with economic development, with jobs, with everything else. So it needs to be part of the whole package because it's about quality of life and really helping our citizens. It's very much about quality of life and the interrelationship to economic development. Arts are critically important. Arts and culture are part of the whole package. In the public sector, our role is to create an environment for success for our citizens. And if you want to create that environment, you have to have a thriving one where young people want to live, where people want to raise their families. Arts and culture are a critical part of that, so I expect to see a continuation of increased funding over an extended period of time. Well, one of the things I was proud of before I became governor, because this was my first public office, is I was on the board of a group called Sphinx, which is about bringing um, to African American and Latino young people in particular, music, classical music. And one of the reasons I got so involved with it is because you could see the material difference in young people's lives when they have access to music. It's one of those things, they do better in school, they have a better self-image, they're more successful. So that's why programs like that were so great and I was really happy to be part of that. I had to leave it to become governor, but I hope to get back in those things again and I'm happy to support them in the meantime. Well, I'm happy to pass on that message because I hope all of us share it. One of the things we need to do is really get people to understand that art isn't just this nice thing to have. It is fundamental and critical to the quality of life, to our society. And so that's where we need to change the dialogue in the public. Instead of just saying it's kind of the tail on the dog, one of the first things to get cut, one of the last things to add, let's make it part of the whole package and understand that by doing it, we all win together.